Okay, let's go over crude. Our three main levels, remember, our methodology is very simple, is that we want to find the trend first using the trend filter. The market can only do two things. It's either trending up or down or going sideways and chop. So our trend filter is here, the magenta MA. If it's angled down, we want to sell retracements into these three solid levels. The first solid level is high value area that called the high this morning in red. The control point is blue, solid blue line. That is the most volume that's traded in that instrument that you are trading. And the low value area LVA, once it's broken, there's no support to hold the market up. So these solid levels, I make them larger because this is volume profile. It's been around since 1994. It's very effective in finding areas where there's major interest in the markets for high probability turning points. So what we want to do is once we find the trend is down, we want to sell retracements to these levels. When they come within two, maximum three ticks of these levels, we want to look for a sell signal if it's in a downtrend. So a trend filter is down. It tested two times support area, resistance. Now what, what the small dots are, are price profile. They're not as important as volume profile, but they do act as confluence or stack levels. They've been around since 1985. So if you look, you have two times confluence with two times stacked area here. That produces a stacked confluence area. So when the market retraced back up in a downtrend and came within two ticks of these two levels, you look for a negative market delta sell. So you look for a negative market delta sell at that level to fire yourself in the trade. Okay, so that's what we'll try to do on these market profile levels. We let, we let the trend filter find the trend first. If it's angled down, we sell retracements. If it's angled up, we buy retracements into these levels. If it's flat, we'll sell the high, buy the low of these levels, and look for it to break and retest. Not very hard to understand the method. So if we're down, we want to sell retracements into these levels. The other thing you want to do is you want to let the levels break and retest. Now, the control point is very important, the blue level. That tells us the most volume that's been traded in that instrument that you're trading. So what, how you want to trade the control point, you never want to trade the control point in a flat or range market because you're getting caught in the middle of a range. You want to sell the outer edges. If that trend filler, that magenta MA was flat as a pancake or horizontal, you do not trade the control at all. You sell the red, you buy the green on the first and second test, and then you let it break out and retest and get out of the range. But in trend markets like it is now, you love to play off the control. It's one of my favorite trades to take. If you look on a weekly basis and you go back in your trade blotter, you better have break, retest, control, break, retest, control as one of your main runners per week. And what you want to do is this. If the trend's down, you're simply going to let it break through. You're going to let it retest. Once it comes within two ticks, maximum three ticks, it's a lot exceeded by the wick. It just can't close a body of the candle above it, and then you're going to look for a negative market delta for this ABC pattern short, or we call a one, two, three. All these are our ABC patterns we look for off the control point. It's a very simple pattern. I, I call it a one, two, three. I was taught in the early 90s to look for one, two, three patterns. They're the same thing as ABC. So an ABC is simply this. You, you start and you break through the control point. You're going to come down, you're going to retrace, I mean, you're going to come down to a low. Once you come down to that low, get this up, come down the low, that's your B. Your C is going to be your entry point. Your C is your entry point, and then you're going to learn this pattern, and it's going to happen over and over again. You're going to see this happen over and over again on all markets. ABC patterns off of market profile. That's a simple ABC short. This is a beautiful short off of market profile. So when you're in a downtrend, you got three spots. You got the HVA to retrace to. You got the control point to break retest on a simple ABC pattern. You got that going for you. 
And now you got, what's the next trade setup we're looking for? Where do we look to sell the next setup? The next setup is a simple ABC off the LVA now. Now what you'll do is you'll look for the LVA, the low value area, the green. There's your ABC, oops. There's your ABC there. Now you look for the same short pattern. You'll look for a breakthrough. You'll look for retracement up into this stack level, and I'll look for another short right here for a simple another ABC. So you see what we're trying to do is I'm simply in a downtrend looking for retracements in the market profile that come within a couple ticks. It's so accurate, these levels are so accurate that you, we don't say five or six or seven or ten ticks away. It's got to come within a couple ticks, and that's just how it is. Yesterday, gold before the big plunge came up in one tick after the FOMC and tanked over 160 ticks. The day before, crude came to the exact tick on market profile, the exact tick, and fell over 140 ticks. That's $1,400 trade potential, $1,600 trade potential, maximum risk is 130 bucks. So that is a, just a beautiful way to play these. So th this is where you're going to look for the next setup. You look for this ABC. The C pattern right here, you'll look for that short entry right there. And that's how we trade the markets every single day. We look for the trend first. We look for the trend filter. Our volume profile is the most important. Solid blue, that's, what's, that's what creates all these support and resistance levels on volume profile. This is the most volume traded. So that creates this red and green line. All right, so if you're in a downtrend, we're simply going to sell red, let blue break retest, and let green break retest in a downtrend. Now, if I'm in that trend, it'd be opposite. I'd let the control point break out, retest, look for long. HVA, break out, retest, look for long. Or come down to support at LVA and look for long there. There's always three entry points in a downtrend off of volume profile. Sell the high, sell the break retest of the control, or sell the break retest of LVA in a downtrend. And in an uptrend, it's the opposite. I'll sell, I'll buy the low of LVA, I'll let the control point break retest, or I'll let the HDA break retest. In other words, in a downtrend, we never buy LVA in a downtrend. We're smarter than that. A lot of market profile books say buy LVA. Not if it's in a downtrend, you let it break retest. You let the control point break retest. Okay? Now, look at our chart. That's our chart. That's our main chart. Look at the chart next to it that creates confluence. Now, here's the beauty of the program. This is a J signal, and this setup this morning is just perfect setup. I mean, this if you see a perfect setup like this, it's really beautiful. So now you know I got volume profile solid. I got my small dots uh, uh, price profile. Look at my white chart. I got two unique profiles. I've got my I, I've got my uh, develop what's called developing profile. So my developing profiles in green is low value, just like over here and red is high value. It's just calculated differently. It's the same thing. The trade over there is a simple ABC pattern. Break, retest. If you were to take this trade, sure. Look at the ABC pattern right there. The best trades on this white chart is the first break inside or outside these green and red levels. If you break outside, it's with trend. If you break inside, it's a counter trend, right? But outside's with trend. Now check this out. Look at my C pattern over here on the black chart. It matched up with my Fibonacci retracement level that you're allowed to trade by itself when it broke through LVA and retested LVA. You have two different strategies that's coming together at the same price point in time. That's called confluence. You're going to see it happen all the time, and it is a beauty. It just happened on gold, too. Gold was another beauty. It was over a $500 trade potential, well, about a 400 and some change just a second ago. So this trade right here alone, right there by itself, was almost, what, 30, 60, almost a $600 trade potential from this high. This from this high, you're looking from that trade, you're looking at 67, almost an $800 trade potential. $800 trade potential. Here's another great trade right here, almost a $600 trade potential, and you're risking 130 bucks. Now what you do is, if you see these two charts are the setup chart, you see how these two charts are the setup chart? They set the trade up. Because these are not my entry charts. This is sets the trade up. 
My trend filter is down. These three solid levels set the trade up. My break retest, break retest, or sell the high. My J signal chart says, hey, I don't take all fib dots. I don't take these fib dots down here. That's for the birds. These fib dots down here are worthless. You don't sell every red Fibonacci retracement. The ones that I cherry pick and the one I educate traders to cherry pick are the ones that are just breaking through market profile. If you just close below LVA and you get that first retracement, you got yourself a beautiful setup all by itself on this J single chart. Well, guess what? It coincided with the control point, which we know is a trade that's confluence. Now, the, the, the market delta over here is our entry. So what happened on this last setup was we broke, retested the blue. We broke, retested the green on J signal, same, same spots. And then we had negative market delta. Now the negative market delta, you want to close red. Once it closes red, that tells you you can enter at the next bar. The entry will be the low of this bar. So you're filling that last setup was 23 short. Your stop is always two ticks above that swing high on delta after entry. So your hard catastrophic stop on going crude is 15 ticks no matter what. But then you adjust your stop two ticks above that swing high. So my swing high was 34. I add two ticks. My stop is now 36. So my entry right here is 23. 23. My stop is 36. So what do I have? I have a 13 tick hard stop on this last setup. That's an $800 potential move. And that was a $600 potential move. So you risk $130 on a potential $600 move and then an $800 move on both setups. Now how you scale, guys, after you get in, is you scale on the first push, right? Let's go to J signal. First push it should be right around the first set of symmetry dots, those blue dots. When it comes down to the second set of symmetry dots in this last trade, when it comes within two ticks, you can have your order waiting. That is when you should bail 75% of your position. So I use my symmetry dots, these little blue dots to scale, red dots to scale my J signal chart to reduce risk. So not only do I know my exact entry, I know my exact exit, and I know my exact stop. Go over to gold, Gerald. Let's take a look at gold. Beautiful setup on gold. What happened on gold? Gerald, go over to gold real quick. If we look at gold, what happened? Trend filter down. Not hard, very simple. What's my methodology? Trend filter is down, angled down. Even the small moving average is crossed down. So what I want to do, I want to sell red if it comes up here, didn't make it. Or what I tell you to do, just like on crude, you want the control point to break. You want to retest. And once it retests, you look for negative market delta. So it retested. We got a beautiful negative market delta right there. But what else do we get? What else do we get? Look at the J signal chart. It had closed below. My low value area, just like crew did a second ago, it retraced and gave me beautiful, gorgeous Fibonacci dots, right? You're allowed to come all the way through that black line before that retracement's over. Red Fibonacci dots at the control point. This is a beautiful sell. Right there. Then what I tell you, the next sell point is what? The next ABC. It's getting cranked right now. Beautiful setup. It broke through my LVA. It retested my LVA volume and price right here volume and price there it is volume and price and look at my beautiful gorgeous fibonacci dots right there again right at the break retest the low value area right at the control point i mean lva and the price profile two times stacked area you just got yourself another beautiful trade set up look at that and you know what happened look at the negative market delta Look at the negative market delta at the retracement of 3260. It doesn't really matter if, about the number. You want to see over 50 on gold and over 200 on crude for major imbalances. As long as it turns red in a stack level, that's three times area stack. This is the best trade you're going to get in the trade room. Three times area stack. I got my volume profile, I got my price profile, and I got my developing profile. Three of my top profiles, all at the exact same price point in time. If you look at all our videos, we've got over 300 videos. It happens over and over and over and over and over. Your job as a trader is to have discipline, patience, and execution. When it turns negative market delta, your entry was here on gold. Right there. 
your entry was 31, uh, 3170. Your stop was two ticks above the swing high. Two ticks above the swing high, the high was 3260. At two ticks, your stop is 3280. Right? So you just had what? An 11 tick stop on that trade. You risk $110, and how much is it down? 3180, we're down to 2880. Just like that. On this second push. On the first push, your 3450, we're down to 2880. Over a $500 push, risking 130 bucks. But look what we're doing, guys and gals. We're letting market profiles set it up. These are not lightning indicators. This is not my opinion. It's not your opinion. This is the internals of the market. Why do you think you can pull up any videos on our website and you'll see us stuff like yesterday, stop through it with on one tick, the day before within uh, right on the exact tick on crude. What, how do you think that's possible? These are the internals of the market. This is order flow. All these algorithms out there that's producing all this volume in the market, all we're doing is piggybacking off the big institutional traders, the big algorithms, the Delta programs, right? The professional traders. This is what's called a footprint, and that's why they call market profile footprint. This is not a stochastic. It's not a moving average. We use moving averages for direction, not support and resistance, right? That's how we trade the market on a daily basis.